We've got a Volkswagen Polo 2004. It's the 1.4 diesel engine and it's been lowered 40 mil. Handles well, but it's got a lot of understeer. So we've purchased for it a white line anti-roll bar, which we're going to fit today. We'll start off with uh, showing you what's in the packet. Okay, it's a bag of goodies. And the bar itself. And I believe that's it. A packet of what can only be defined as dubries. Um, two brackets which combine with these in order to go around the rear axle. These little drop linky things um, to go over next to the wheels and some bolts to hold it all together. And a little packet of grease that you put inside the bushings so that you don't chew them to pieces. Oh, and a sticker. Hooray! We use the 16mm spanner and ratchet for taking off the stock bolts. Um, we use the 17 for the new bolts and 14 inch, 14, 14 inch, 14 mil was used for um, the U hanging things because they didn't have nylock nuts and they were 14 mil. So that's that. And we used two types of ratchet because that was more convenient. And this is an 8 mil Allen key which not everyone will have. So if you're going to do the job, the white line bolts require the 8 mil Allen key. It's probably the only thing you don't have in your socket set. And in the kit, the white line sticker was broken. So white line, if you're watching, I need to be compensated. Look at that. Can't stick that to anything. Although this kit is the BWR19Z, this is actually the 20 mil blade adjustable bar. Um, you can see from the pins on the end, you can adjust the hardness or harshness of it. The pin furthest away from the bar is the softest setting which is where I'll be putting it because I am a clot when it comes to driving dynamics and I don't know the damn thing about lift off oversteer although that may be rectified later on when we test it. Um, hardest setting apparently will completely cure understeer but may also put you in fields which we don't want. So that's it, let's fit it. First jack up the car. put the car on axle stands. Okay so we're going to jack up the bottom of the original shock absorber uh, and then we're going to replace the bolt, take the bolt out and replace it with this new bolt and washer set and have this, what the hell is this called? A uh, drop link? A drop link, this dubry is going to go on the new bolt. Okay, so the instructions say to put the short bolt on the chassis mount, but as you can see, that will not work. What you have to do is use the longer bolt that's supplied and bolt that through the bottom of your shock absorber mount, large washer, on the wheel side. I'm not sure there's an official technique here for applying grease other than I'm going to put a dot on my finger and smear it around the inside smear it around the outside <laughs> okay that feels wrong Get another dot <laughs> That also feels wrong. Okay, so pop the little bushing thing out of the metal bracket and you need to split it so that you can put it inside the bar, which I would do. Okay, one. To make it a little bit easier, we are going to bolt the ends in place first and then swing the bar up in order to bolt up the centre. Softest setting.
Is there any recommendation on how far apart it is? Just about as far as you can get them. Okay, clip that in place. We'll get our bracket over the top, which may or may not fit. And although we've fitted the ends on already, we do have a bit of backwards and forwards give. Um, so we can slide it thusly. Actually, is that it? Very much. Apart from tightening, we may have to put in the ground for that. I'm fairly sure we're going to have to put it on the ground. So you have to lower the car again so that you can get the suspension alignment right or geometry or whatever the hell it's called. And so jack it up, axle stands off, back to the ground. Now it's back on the ground, we're just going to tighten everything up. If we can fit. Which we can't. <laughs> Upload it. We return to video after having the anti roll bar fitted for about a month. It is hands down the best £150 I've ever spent on a car, full stop. I've got the anti-roll bar on the hardest setting. Um, that's what I settled on after going from soft then to medium then to hard. Um, hard is totally manageable, it's not frightening in the wet. Uh, it does lift off oversteer but it doesn't surprise you. Um, and the car is much much faster than the dry when you're coming around corners so it won't turn your front wheel drive hatchback into a drift monster and it won't make you Ken block but you will enjoy driving the car more especially if you are pressing on in the corners but that's it it's good go buy one